thrust into leadership by events, John Swinney has struck a unifying tone at this conference after the SNP's worst general election result in more than a decade. July the 4th was clearly an incredibly tough night for the SNP. So many great colleagues lost their seats. We've reflected as a party and we're learning the lessons of that election. But there are challenges, difficult decisions on public spending to come and Holyrood elections on the horizon. Never again will we go into an election with people thinking, I like the idea of independence, but that can wait because I'm more concerned about the economy or my job or the cost of living or the National Health Service. My promise to you is that I will make sure independence is understood as the route to a stronger and a fairer country. Understood, not as nice to have, but as urgent and essential here and now. That is how we will make independence happen. John Swinney didn't expect to be in this job, but with the SNP bruised and battered, the seasoned politician offers a steady hand. But his party is not what it once was, a diminished force in Westminster and facing a fight to hang on to power here in Scotland. The Middle East has been one source of tension. Cabinet Secretary Angus Robertson again apologising for meeting an Israeli diplomat last month. I am profoundly sorry that any impression was given of any normalisation with the Israeli government when in fact the priority of the Scottish Government was to communicate support for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. Respected across the party, John Swinney will be pleased this conference has passed without significant bloodletting. But it remains to be seen if this is a leader who will turn fortunes around or simply manage to climb. Rob Pal Sky News in Edinburgh.